Welcome back YouTubers, uh, today we've got a Tanaka M700, uh, this is a gas rifle, uh, we're going to do a few upgrades, we've got uh, an Action Army hop up that's going to go in, uh, we've got a new barrel, this is a 6.01mm barrel, 640mm in length, uh, and rather than using the nozzle extender that comes with the hop chamber, we've actually got a completely new replacement nozzle, so we've got a few parts that we're going to drop in this, um, so let's take it apart and get installing. Got the old hop up and barrel out of the way, we can go on to preparing the new barrel and the new hop. Now, the first thing with this barrel is it's not quite the right one. We want an unbridged barrel for this. Now, unfortunately, this one I have here and been supplied with as a bridge, but that's not a problem because that is easily removable. Um, so we'll do that first and we'll continue to install that into the hop chamber. So the reason we have to cut this bridge off uh, is to make it compatible with the type of hot rubbers it's going to use. That is like a VSR style rubber, that is a maple leaf Decepticon, um, and that does not need this back bridge. That back bridge would be to support an AEG style rubber. Um, just to show you the difference, that is an AEG style rubber uh, in comparison to it. So you can see the two different types there. Um, that would be compatible with that. That requires the bridge being cut off. So we're going to cut that away now. Right, so before we polish it, we're going to clean the offending stuff out. We're going to clean it from the opposite end to this first because that's got all the shit in it that I just cut and swore off and everything. So we want to push it that way. We don't want to be pushing it through the whole length of the barrel. Look at the colour of that. That is filth. But a lot of that is where we've just cut it. Yeah, much cleaner on the second pass through, so that's good. Uh, that is what you should be left with uh, once you've cut it all down, filed it all, polished it all. Uh, you want no rough edges or anything that's going to catch anything. It all needs to be super smooth uh, and that is now ready to fit the hop up rubber. Okay, so new barrels in, new hop up rubber is on. Um, obviously, barrels all tightened in, barrel space is held in, the grub screws are all popped in. Um, all we need to do now is put the nub, this is the supplied nub with the hop chamber, which is ideal because it's a concave one. So that is perfect. Just push that into position. Well, now that will work with the top down. Um, adjuster that's already on the gun, so that's absolutely ideal. So that is the barrel assembly, all complete. Right, the next task on this is to adapt uh, the feeding nozzle, because when we use the hop-up chamber that we're using, it's not long enough. Now the hop chamber usually uh, would suggest you plug that in there as a kind of a supplied accessory to make that long enough. However, we have managed to get hold of a custom done extended nozzle that will replace the whole thing uh, and make it the right length so it pushes the BB to the correct part within the hop-up chamber to push the BB down the barrel. Um, so we just need to get this out of here. Ah, okay, that was easier than I thought it might have been. So that was quite good. So yeah, that's out of the way. All we're gonna do is give that a little clean up um, and then we're gonna put that in there. 
Um, and then that's that bit done. We'll get some fresh grease on the seal as well uh, whilst we're here, just to keep it all nice, because uh, we'll always do a bit of fresh silicone on there. Right, so that's the nozzle hammered in. Uh, we used a rubber, rubber hammer so we didn't damage any of the end because that's all radius to the front there to make it nice and smooth contact um, with the BB. Um, just so you can see, there was a huge difference between that and that. So that's all in there now. Now before we assemble it all back together, I am going to clean up all of this lower mechanism here for the trigger because uh, it has seen a bit of use and could do with a bit of a clean up to be fair. So we'll take all that off there and clean it all through. Right, that's all back together now. Uh, obviously a new hop up in, that's all the old stuff. It's got a maple leaf Decepticon in there, uh, which is absolutely ideal with the bucking everything that it comes with. Obviously new longer nozzle to make it work with the new hop up. Um, all back together, cleaned up, re-greased. Shooting well, so that, another one done.